Every electrical and electronic devices depends on the physics of electromagnetism. This is a combination of two phenomena, electricity and magnetism. One cannot exist without the other because electricity produces magnetism and vice versa. As a background, it was first studied by early Greek philosophers who noticed that if an amber is to rub, it can attract beads of straw. This simple experiment can be done at home without any cost. Another important name on the study of electromagnetism is Michael Faraday, who is a talented experimental physicist. He demonstrated the relationship of electricity and magnetism through laboratory experiments. Faraday's experiments will further be developed into mathematical equations by James Clerk Maxwell. And these developments lead us today. Hi everybody, I am Engineer Isagani Briones, your physics instructor in STEM Teach. For this video, I'll be discussing the Coulomb's law, which explains the relationship of two or more charged particles. Let's start our topic by talking about charged particles. Basically, charged particles can be considered as positive or negative. When a material is said to have the same number of positively charged and negatively charged particles, then it is considered to be a neutron. That means the number of positive is equal to the number of negative. But when either the positive or the negatively charged particles outnumbers the other, then that is the net charge of that material. Take this charged particle for example. If you put this together with another charged particle, what will happen? These two will repel because they have the same charge. How about this? What will happen? These two will attract each other because one is positive and the other is negative. And that is the basic of law of attraction and repulsion. If two charged particles brought near each other, just like what we did earlier, both particles will exert a force on each other. This force is what we call the electrostatic force. And since force is a vector, it contains direction. Based on the law of attraction and repulsion, force direction can be determined. So for example, if you have a positive and a negatively charged particles, then the direction of the force is towards each other because they have different charges. The electrostatic force, which has a unit of Newton, is given by the equation F is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. So actually, that is the, the Q1 and Q2 are the two charged particles and we should actually get the absolute value of it. Where k um, is equivalent uh, to 8.9875517875 times 10 to the negative 9 newton meter squared per column squared. So that is the um, Coulomb's law constant. And r there is the distance between two charged particles in meters. The k there, the constant k, can also be equated to 1 over 4 pi e over eo is the permittivity of free space which has a value of 8.85 times 10 to the negative uh, 12 column squared over newton meter squared now that we know the formula for the columns law we will be solving for different problems in our next video thank you for listening